Hi, my name is Dr. Jacqueline Storer. I'm a family medicine doctor. Whether you were recently diagnosed with diabetes or whether you have been a lifelong diabetic, I'm sure you have wondered, what actually is diabetes and why do I have it? I'd like to talk to you today about what happens in our bodies when we have diabetes. To understand diabetes, we must first understand how our bodies use food to create energy. Our bodies are made up of cells. Humans have trillions of them. Cells are tiny structures that take in nutrients from our food, convert the nutrients into energy, and then use the energy to allow us to live. All the food we eat is either carbohydrates or sugars, fat or protein. It's the sugar that our cells use to create energy. If you think about eating, food is first outside of our bodies on our plate. And when we eat, it goes into our bodies. In the same way, after our food is broken down into sugar, the sugar is outside of the cell, and the cell basically needs to eat the sugar to be able to use it for energy. The way our cells eat the sugar is by using a substance called insulin. Insulin helps bring the sugar inside of the cells, just like our mouths help bring food into our bodies. Insulin is made by an organ called the pancreas. Everyone has a pancreas, and it's located behind your stomach. Without insulin, your body cannot bring the sugar into the cells to create fuel. If the sugar can't get into our cells, it stays in our blood and it raises our blood sugar. In type 1 diabetes or juvenile diabetes, your pancreas does not make any insulin. This typically starts at a young age, usually around less than 10 years old. We're not completely sure what causes type 1 diabetes, but we think that there are several genes that can contribute to developing type 1 diabetes. In other words, it may have been passed down to you from your parents or your grandparents. Different things cause these genes to turn on or off. If the gene gets turned on, your body is unable to make insulin. Again, without insulin, your body cannot use the sugar that you're eating to create fuel. Type 1 diabetics absolutely need to be treated with insulin because they do not make any of it. If you were diagnosed as an adult, you most likely have type 2. An analogy to explain type 2 diabetes would be when your cells are always surrounded by insulin, they start to ignore the insulin. Much like if you were to constantly hear a sound, you would start to ignore the sound. But how do we get too much insulin? By eating or drinking more than we need, especially sugary foods and drinks. When your body has too much sugar, your body stores the sugar and turns it to fat. The more fat you are making, the more insulin your body makes. And again, our body starts to ignore this insulin. So it does not work to let the sugar into the cell. This raises the sugar outside of our cells called our blood sugar. A way to use this extra sugar and fat and decrease how much insulin is outside the cells is to exercise, which is why exercise is so important in preventing and treating type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is different than type 1 diabetes because your body is now ignoring the insulin and you have a lot of extra sugar in your body outside of your cells. Again, this is your blood sugar. Your body does not like sugar outside of your cells or high blood sugar. Sugar outside of the cells can actually damage organs like your kidneys, your eyes, your nerves, and even your blood vessels. This is why people that have had high blood sugar for many years start to get damage to these organs and why it is so important to control your blood sugar. There's another way to indirectly check your blood sugar called the hemoglobin A1C or the A1C for short. I'm sure you have had someone check your A1C. This is a marker that helps us estimate what your average blood sugar was over the last three months. People who don't have diabetes have A1Cs less than 5.7. As a diabetic, if you are less than 65 years old, your goal A1C is less than 7. If you are over 65 years old, your goal A1C is less than 8. There are some ways type 2 diabetics can control their blood sugar. First, by eating less overall, especially less really sugary foods like sodas, white breads, and rice. Another way is to exercise so your body starts to use the sugar and insulin more and stops ignoring the insulin. Another way is to lose weight so there is less fat so your body stops making as much insulin. And the last way to control your blood sugar is with medications, which will be discussed in another video.